Now, one more thing you're probably wondering is, you know, when we come up with the summation notation, how do we evaluate this quickly? In other words, how do we not have to add up all of the heights of these rectangles and then multiply by the width? You know, what's the point of this formula if we're not going to use it? Well, we can use Desmos or any other uh, uh, application. Uh, there's several applications to where you can plug in summation notation. I'm going to show you how to do it on Desmos. So first of all, how do you get this sum? Well, if you go on Desmos, and here's this, this is actually on my phone. If you type in uh, sum, so S-U-M, uh, you will see the uh, summation notation pop up. Now it's going to use N as a counter. I believe you can change it to I if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now again, for left point, uh, we're going to start with zero. And it's going to go to n minus 1 on the top where the gray is. Since there's eight rectangles, 8 minus 1 is 7. So remember, from 0 to 7 still gives you 8. Now the next thing you want to do is click to the right of this summation notation and put a set of parentheses around there. That way it knows that it's going to be summing whatever's inside of here. The next thing you're going to do is plug in your function. In this case, it's 1 minus x squared, but wherever there's an x, I'm just going to put another set of parentheses and square it. So why do we do that? Well, if we go and look at our function here, it's f of negative 2 plus 0.5i. So wherever there's an x, I'm going to replace it with my negative 2, which is at my a value, plus 0.5i, where 0.5 again is your change in x. And that will take care of the rest. The only other thing we'll have to do is put the width of the rectangle up front. So it's going to go ahead, let's go ahead and plug in that negative 2 plus 0.5i. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to type in negative 2 plus 0.5i. And it's going to give me that negative 3. Now, again, I have to put the width of my rectangle somewhere on here. I don't guess you have to put it on front. You can actually put it past. Let's see if we can put it past. We're just going to multiply this by 0.5, and there it gives this to us. It gives us the approximation of negative 1.5. And that's the easiest way to approximate uh, using Riemann sums is just to type it in as a sum rather than having to you know, type all those heights out. It's the most concise way, and this is why we use summation notation. All right, if you have any other questions about using technology to evaluate a Riemann sum, let me know.